Trustmark Banking is looking for potential suitors to take over the unfinished student housing project of 817 Laws. Construction crews are repairing damages caused by exposure to weather. What, what the hope is right now is we actually, um, we're doing what we call as remediation work. We're remediating because it was open to the elements, so we're remediating any of the mold damage or anything that would have been done to the project. Long says at least one potential buyer has shown interest. From what they've stated, their hope is that I say um, they want to try to have it completed within the first quarter of next year. Texas State students who had planned to live at the complex had no choice but to find other housing. Long says Trustmark is hoping to have students move in next fall. Innovate Housing stopped construction on 817 lofts in June of last year, cited as issues at the time were project changes and failed inspections. For Bobcat Update, I'm Gary Kaywood. Piles of pumpkins are scattered across the lawn at the First United Methodist Church. Shopping for a pumpkin can be a lot of fun. This is my first year to hear about it, so I was super excited to come check it out because in my hometown we have a pumpkin patch that I visit every year, so it was nice that there was one here. Pumpkins range in size from little gourds to massive ones. Not only can you score yourself a pumpkin, but you can also take advantage of a great photo op. It's the way the pumpkin patch works, is it pulls people in and they, they feel invited to come for pictures and just walk around and little kids love it. Little kids love it. The pumpkins are grown GMO free in New Mexico on a Navajo reservation. After being delivered here, the church sells them to raise money for its community youth programs. Every pumpkin patch worker is a volunteer. First United Methodist Church is located next to the little HEB on Hutchinson Street. The patch is open every day from noon to eight. For Bobcat Update, I'm Hannah Owen. It's the first of a kind at Texas State. A section will be reserved for the deaf and for those who are fluent in American Sign Language. Former Texas State football player Brian Gwindling is responsible for the change. Uh, I, I thought about it and then um, I, I kind of was like, okay, this would be a good idea and then I really put some thought into it. Gwindling says he presented the idea and gained immediate support. I had to talk to the ticket management and then I talked to Matt Carson, ticket management, and then I talked to athletic director Rick and then um, that assistant athletic director Rick and then um, they thought it was a great idea as well. They've never heard anything like it before. According to university officials, there are 32 deaf and hard of hearing students at Texas State. Gwinling says he knows how important it is for the deaf community. And then I expressed my idea to my deaf and hard of hearing friends and they were like, oh my god, like, please do this for us, that'd be awesome. Students in the section will also receive a discount. Tickets will cost them $10 instead of $25. For Bobcat Update, I'm Garrett Kaywood. Texas State students have a lot to be thankful for and the Alumni Association is giving them an opportunity to express it. The association posted a banner this week outside the LBJ Student Center for students to sign. Most of them wrote thank you messages to parents and loved ones. The Alumni Association is looking for a place to put the banner so all may need it. So if you have an idea for where the banner can go, please email the Alumni Association at alumni at txstate.edu.